military is engaged in an era of ongoing global conflict. The demand for an effective and realistic training is a mission critical requirement. Innovation on today's battlefield has revolutionized how we fight. But until now, there has been no simulation platform to prepare the warrior on the ground for that fight. ACI answers the call as a pioneer and leader in virtual reality simulation. Since 2004, ACI has established a proven track record, training thousands of soldiers for the combat environment downrange. Over the coming years, militaries will rely more and more on ground-based simulation to prepare troops for the battlefield. ACI's platform not only saves time and resources, but for the first time, recreates the complexities of modern combat in a safe environment. The system allows you to better prepare yourself for war. It allows you to train your squad, team, platoon in such a way that you're really uh, able to come off the vehicle and be ready to fight. ACI's Train As You Fight hardware platform provides the highest level of immersion for up to 64 individuals in a virtual environment, each wearing nothing more than a wireless helmet-mounted display. Low-grade computers, sensors, batteries, cables, and harnesses have been eliminated from the user. This achieves maximum reliability, the highest level of performance, and the most natural user interface, allowing complete freedom of movement, hand and arm signals, and accurate weapon handling. We had to design a simple system uh, that wasn't with the traditional motion capture uh, suits. So effectively, we put rigid plates on a standard plate carrier that's easily put on by the user and taken off. The gloves that we developed were built to track the palm motion and also to track specific key elements in articulation of the fingers to allow for standard field manual trained motions and gestures that are used by uh, infield military. The wireless video display that we have in the helmet is powered from a 60 gigahertz wireless module that we have that allows us to broadcast a higher bandwidth and maintain the, the higher resolutions that we need for proper simulation. We had to make that portable, so effectively we made a portable motion capture system that allows us to set up a 10 by 10 uh, volume that the trainee can then operate in with a natural fluid movement of their bodies, allow them to properly pie corners, high-low maneuvers, four-man stacks, uh, and all of these types of movements that help them uh, engage a target without completely exposing all the critical parts of their avatar or their body. The shock belt was introduced to effectively remove complacency from the system as most trainees in this generation are used to holding a controller and not having any feedback from that other than rumbling. But if they have in their mind that they're gonna get zapped, uh, it changes the, the gamer mentality into a training mentality. It's as close as you can get to an actual battle. It made me think more about marksmanship, about where the correct aiming point was, uh, what I needed to do to engage a target. I mean, when people are shooting at you and you're shooting at them, there's a whole lot of different things that go on. Again, something that better prepares you uh, to rack. Those are the kind of things you're looking for. And that's, this is exactly what this training device will do. The ability to recreate the interior of targeted buildings based on available intelligence allows operators to train on the actual objectives they will encounter on combat missions. Scenario and content creation are placed in the hands of the end user to be modified on the ground at any location across the globe. The result of seven years of intense R&D and four years of user feedback has resulted in the right technology infrastructure needed for simulations of groups of individuals. ACI's patent-pending engine agnostic interface is a middleware platform that is a universal adapter to use game engines as modeling and simulation tools. The EAI is game engine and hardware agnostic. Of course, VBS2 is supported. This protects your simulation investment as you adopt the next generation of game engines. Take Points graphics allow an extraordinary level of detail, including complex architecture, power lines, road quality, and perimeter obstacles such as barbed wire, fences, and the myriad of details found within the tactical environment. The system can be unpacked, assembled, and operating in under 15 minutes. Everything that is required for mission rehearsal, immersive training, and the after-action review process travels in ACI's custom cases. Train As You Fight includes expandable configurations that can accommodate multiple users. In 10x10 or 20x20 portable configurations, 
Micro motions, like taking cover, are done physically in the trainee's volume. And large motions, like going down a street, are performed by using a joystick on the weapon. ACI's Train As You Fight hardware platform is rugged and portable. All of the operator essential stations are put into the mission control case. The processing unit is in its own uh, packaged case, so we can just put lids on that and go. The frame itself is telescoping, which basically we can collapse everything, bring it down, disassemble it, put it in its own cases. Uh, that allows for uh, effectively uh, five boxes per station uh, for each user. The CO2 introduced to the weapon system allows the user to get proper feedback of registering a uh, fired round. Uh, as opposed to just simply hearing or seeing a muzzle flash or a shot fired. The, the CO2 system also has engineered within it a magazine that is intelligent to count rounds that are fired from the weapon system. So with this system, it allows us to introduce a lot of different accessories that we couldn't introduce before with tethered systems. This allows us to introduce things like a, a functional driving station and also introduce things like a, a turret ring for a, a mounted 1151 or any other type of vehicle that may have any other different mechanism to engage with. During development of Train As You Fight, ACI benefited from guidance of some of the world's most elite warriors and specialists in counterterrorism and asymmetric warfare. One of these individuals has also joined ACI's Board of Advisors, Commander Dan O'Shea. A former Navy SEAL, Dan established and served as the coordinator of the hostage working group in Baghdad, Iraq. Dan is a highly decorated Operation Iraqi Freedom veteran and a recognized authority on hostage rescue operations. Train as you fight enables a warfighter to move naturally in the virtual environment. The warrior is able to look around, lean, crouch, lie prone, and progressively move in the exact same manner they would in a real combat situation. Train as you fight weapons are tracked with six degrees of freedom, including position and rotation, and can support blind firing, firing from a realistic sight picture, laying down suppressive fire, and adjusting the weapon to accommodate accurate cover and concealment. I was in Vietnam years ago, and I've been to Bosnia. I've been to a lot of places all over the world. This better prepares me, or better would better prepare me to, to get out of the vehicle, to where they react, where do I go on the ground, how do I identify targets. Those are the kind of things that you need in preparation for war. Soldiers fight like they train, because in combat, seconds matter, and only accurate training saves lives. The SEALs have a training maxim, plan your dive, dive your plan. Solid pre-mission preparation means every scenario and contingency has been envisioned and prepared for. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Rehearsals are the critical component of every successful mission preparation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna use Train As You Fight pre-mission profile scenario today, all right, before we go out. Our objective today is Hotel Masawa. Intelligence, both human, confirmed by SIGINT, We've got three military age males. Okay, we're gonna have to set up strong points, anchor points, north, south, east, and west corner. Third squad is going in on the objective. We obviously cannot take out the hotel with a strike, so we've gotta go in, foot patrol. We've gone through everything. We're gonna jock up and hit the mission. Everyone understand? Yes, yes sir. Everyone understand? Yes, sir. Okay, remember, the more we sweat in training, the less we bleed in war. Roger? Roger. So let's go get jocked up and get out of here, all right? Let's go. Let's roll. Anytime that you have a system that allows you to have immediate feedback, it, it just makes your unit that much better. You can stop exactly what you're doing, stop, conduct a good AAR, and explain to soldiers exactly what they need to do on the battlefield. 
Okay guys, right here, we're gonna focus on what was done right as well. We got Lewis and Q using good cover and concealment. Okay, let's keep rolling this out. We're gonna focus on the exfil, because the exfil is when we had a problem. And it started right here with our point vehicle. We stopped in the middle of the street, jacked everyone back up, and everything went south from here. Okay, right here, what went wrong? What went wrong in the driver right here? He lost his eyes on the ball, and he wasn't looking, boom, IED. Right here, they're in the middle of the street, guys. Where are they using cover and concealment? Do you see it? And then we're out there for real, Bullets are flying, you have to move. I mean, we've got all kinds of lessons learned from this here today, folks. ACI has solved the need for realistic tetherless simulators for today's soldier trainees. With the IGS system, fully immersive virtual training has finally been achieved. And the future is now.